first against Louis Williams. Jamon. And it's an interesting one because Christoph Ratajski, a bit like Damon Hetter, you expect him to be averaging mid to high 90s. That's oh, just his normal level of performance. He does have those gears, though. And we've seen him go and post those massive ton plus averages. Notably, he did it on his way to his Euro Tour title in Gibraltar. He annihilated Dowell Gurney yeah. in the semi finals, I think it was. But he has played Louis Williams on the Euro Tour before and been beaten by him. It was in Hungary last year, the Laszlo Pap Arena in front of 4,000 fans. Louis Williams called it as well, didn't he? He said in his interview, if I play my game, I'll win. He's a confident young man. And Christoph Ratajski, he's in, he's in a bit of a different form, isn't he? he didn't end the year well and started the year well with people actually talking about concerns of his throw. I mean, I think his throw's OK. He did have a semi-final in Wigan last week. Victory over Dave Chisnell. 59. As well. So, always find something, Christoph Ratajski, but it's at the stage now where floor-ranking titles are not enough. We expect more from Christoph. Can he deliver on the big stage and win? 100. Tour title? But the next step is, well, a major final maybe, whether he wins it or not, but to be in that position. Yeah, I mean, look, he's made the semi-finals of the world match play. That was a big step forward for him. 96. But we know he's got the game and he's certainly got the consistency. But I wanted to ask you about the throw. You saw him at the Masters, right? I mean, as somebody who suffered from... What are we calling it? We still are we calling it no, technical error still? Or? Uh, we call it what you want. I think I'm alright now. I yeah. think I can deal well, that's with it. it. Yeah, it, it's it, it was dartitis. Yeah, when it creeps in. I mean, out the master, it just looked a bit stuttery in it. Anyway, look, it hasn't plagued on it because it's when you turn 50, up the week after it's still there. Wrong, he, what it is, it just just takes control of your game. And Christoph retires. He's got a very slow, deliberate throw, and it it does creep in for me on players that, but and. Quick, that's just my assessment. I may be wrong. That slow, deliberate throw at least gets all wrong. And, you know, it played my career, and I don't think it's going to do that to Christoph. But looking good here, anyway. 15 darts, 24 left. If he gets a go, he's not going to get a go. He's but on first leg. Yeah. yeah, encouraging stuff from Christoph Fatowski in the week since I, I still there seems to be a little pause on that first art when he brings it back Easy more three. than there was say last year however nothing like the stuff we saw at the masters where i genuinely did fear for him. so i'm hoping we never have to discuss it again the polish eagle goes on to do even greater things three. in this game because i've been talking up christoph for absolutely years since we first saw him on the european tour and really make a name for himself. By the end of that year, he'd won the World Masters. Three of his pro tour titles. He didn't have a tour card, down, yeah. did he? And he did back-to-back -back weekend there. So he, look, he's a real good player, tough player, a no-nonsense player. That's what I call Christopher Tyson. He just gets on with it. Yeah. That's his first 180 of this game, but it's his seventh of the weekend. Incredibly, he hits six and just ten legs in the first round against Dennis Nielsen. Oh, he's to come out of his shell a bit more. I think he's a bit shy, isn't he? A bit quiet. I like the lad. I do. I like his confidence. Got to back it up, though. He was very patient yesterday. He was good yesterday. He showed maturity because he had to wait till the ninth leg to have a go at breaking the Dennis Nielsen throw. He got there in the end. Closed out victory. 98. Yeah, well, this is this is a tough test. Christoph Ratajski in any format, long format, short format, stage or floor. Christoph Ratajski, you expect he's going to give you a test. You're going to have to play well to beat him. He did play well to beat him in Budapest. He's on the second leg. Christoph Ratajski. You're going to have to produce something against Christoph Ratajski. You're not going to stutter your way through, averaging in low to mid 80s. You're going to have to produce something, and Louis Williams knows that. 59. He's beaten before and he's got a clutch to that, but at the same time, Christoph Ratajski, maybe wanting a bit of revenge. He doesn't really spout off about things. But Dan, I was in the Grand Prix last year. Oh, we say about keeping Christoph Ratajski was just in the same room on his own, practicing away. He just does his own thing, doesn't he? There's a bit of a contrast to Louis Williams. 
like Louis well, Wall. I remember when Louis Williamson at the Q School at the start of last year and he was walking around the place like he owned it, saying hello to everybody. I'd never met him. He, he chatted away to me. Oh, I don't see an Italian doing that though, are you? He said, you are not, you are not a shy you? lad. He said more to me in those 15 minutes and Christopher Tyskit said to me in four years, I think. I played Christopher Tyskit a couple of times, I don't think we spoke. Did we even say good game? Oh, I don't know. But, but, well, did you play a good game? I did on one of them, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the other one, but yeah, I beat on one of them. But he just, it was a no nonsense player. And when I played him as well, I knew I had to play well. I did play well. Oh, so you don't play well, you generally you get beat by Christopher Tyson. Well, look, let's put it this way Christopher Tyson hasn't. Despite a genuine fear over his throw at the start of this year and a, a few question marks that he seems to be eyeing it out, he's still averaging 95 on the tour this year. Eight, has played won. more than a dozen games. So without playing his best, he's had a quarter-final, a semi-final. Because that's what he does. It's like playing a computer. You just turn the setting up to very hard, Christopher Ratajski level, and see if you can beat it. He's not going to get a dart at the double here. 41. Though. Louis However, Louis Williams Williams may only four. get a dart at the bullseye himself. Tidies up a 90 finish in the first leg in the pressure. Ooh, Looking right. to do it again. He's being very composed at the back end of the legs here, Louis Williams. Can he do it again? Double nine. Big doubt already this. 75. Oh, missed a the trick there, Louis, because he did the hand pan. Found the treble to give himself two darts, but is this the first break? Oh, the wrong way. No score. Both thrown darts and just up for Tazzy. More chances for Louis. Nine. Well, concentrate for the easy bit. That's that done. Going to give himself a moment. Bit the old Rob Cross stuff here, giving himself a pause and then readdress it. He's on the third leg. This stage in the previous match was a turning point. Daryl Gurney had darts to break. Damon Hetter didn't. And then Damon Hetter took control 62. and broke him. They can flip within minutes games of darts and if you can't get out of your head a leg that you should have won you can really fester in the next leg and that's what happened with Daryl Gurney 59 Christoph he doesn't strike you as a player who can be rattled I know everybody you know, they'll have different levels of confidence and all sorts of stuff and 100. if you lose lots of legs in a row then it's going to be difficult to maintain your composure, but Ratajski, whatever's been thrown at him, doesn't matter who's playing him, whether they're fast or slow, loud, quiet, shouting in his face or not, he just gets on with it and deals with it. 46. Just think of the prospect of playing Johnny Clayton in the next round. Johnny Clayton joins the fray tonight, takes on Christoph Chuck, well. dismantled. Rob Cross last night. It could be Louis Williams versus Johnny Clayton. And all oh, it could 40. be an all Polish encounter, of course, with the two Christophs facing up. Christoph Kachuk's already taken out the European champion in Rob Cross, only lost one leg. Different 100. True say. Johnny Clayton right up there amongst the best in the world. This man sat to my left will insist he is the best in the world. Apart from what he said, it's somebody else. Yeah, I know. Definitely got it down to about seven or eight players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. narrowing it down. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with those eight Premier League. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of the sport, isn't it? The first week, the Premier League, we talked about the estate down. I was like, it's Johnny Clayton, it's Johnny Clayton. 41. Peter Ryan, we and Henry one. Price did last week. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, oh, God knows what I'll say next to it first. I think I'll put him in a hat. But it's a testament to the depth in this sport at the minute. 41. Uh, Louis it's Williams to, to miss a big 52. number from an 81 checkout and not get a dart for the double. Ratajski isn't as close as Louis was to try and take advantage. But it may not matter, double 16. Oh. 120. Louis Williams, but Louis said Louis this was the pattern the previous match followed. Whilst Louis Williams isn't playing as well as Damon Hetter was. And it's Louis Williams who gets his break in the match a lot earlier than he did yesterday. He had to be really patient yesterday, but he didn't, didn't need to break today. To that first. is a bit of an insurance policy for Louis Williams now. He won the ball in the back room. 
effectively. Double break up here. Well, a hold of throw and a 4 1 lead. Lou Williams will be feeling very happy. Coming up next as well. Danny not the moving king. Do not go in the exclusion zone, Danny. I don't know. I think maybe he should. I'd like to see what happens. Go for it, Matthew. Do what you want. Walk back down. Oh! Finishing stats look good for Louis Williams. He's on the brink of a 4 1 lead here. Oh, now then. Oh, I think that would have been the third time this weekend Louis Williams has gone back to back 180s. Because he hit six in that game against Dennis Nielsen. He was hitting him in clusters. Doesn't affect Louis Williams' approach to the one two roll. He's got six at it. Sensible. This is really good for Louis Williams. He expected to go. And is Louis Williams going to repeat the feat? Will Tour last week, last year, Euro Tour, when he beat Christopher Tyski, called he'd do it. Well, he's doing it again here. And we said yesterday, Dan, will not qualify for the next two? To get some money here is a good start. Remember, you're talking 15, 16,000, maybe a bit more to get yourself in the European Championship finals. You knew he wins here, he's got 3,000 already, and prospect for more. 59. Yeah, well, we mentioned it yesterday, didn't we? If you can have a big weekend in the very first Euro Tour of the year, it can set you up for all kinds of things. 41. European Championship as well. The prize money, Dan, you win your first game, £10,000. It's, and it's playing on the big stage, 100. playing against the top players in the world. And we said yesterday the European Tour is now crucial because it helps the new players make that transition to the TV stage a lot easier. And we snuck into the Euros last year, didn't he, in that weird sort of truncated season. And he got himself there, just sneaking in by qualifying for the two Euro Tours. Winding up for the celebration and just pulling out of it there. But with everything that he achieved last year, Louis Williams is looking... Uh, he's going to keep his tour card at the end of the year. But 100. that moment when you move into the top 64 and just make it absolutely certain, that's always going to be a nice feeling. Louis Williams could do that this weekend, potentially. 127, because if we require 92. Christoph's in it. All sorts of bother here. It's a good. Yeah, I knew stay there. Good stacker, double six. Good finish. Under the pressure there, Christoph Latinsky. A clenched fist. That was pressure there. He goes down another break, 5 1. He could effectively write off his chances, but. Still in there, the pole. Fifty-eight. Well, Christoph Ratajski is averaging around just over ninety-six. You expect him to be there, if not a 99. little high. Ninety-nine. Louis Williams at the moment is standing up to the test, but it is not a domination. He is just about doing enough. It's kind of following the same oh, pattern as their game in Budapest last like year. Euro Tour. Lou Williams managed to get over the line and hold off Christoph Ratajski when it's 6-4 there. Can he repeat the trick? This is the leg for me. Oh, break, but he's running out of time, isn't he? You keep your player two away from the finishing line, you've still got a little margin for error. 139. He's thinking about the shot. Look at that, leaving 170. Good counting. There's another Welsh player who could maybe take a little look at Louis Williams. <laughs> Naming any names. 133, Louis Williams. Good leg, this one. 
Oh, that's great, isn't it? Follow it. Oh, that has got to be so frustrating. Particularly when you pin the bullseye as well. This could be the turning point. Is it Louis Williams on the brink, or is it Louis Williams getting embroiled? Matajski, treble 19. Not keen on that lie, Webby, what do you think? Mm, he's had to shuffle, that tells you, you can't see a great deal. Yeah. Let me see if I can see a little bit. Require 40. Not accurate enough, and Louis Williams to go one away here. Well, there are three darts at tops in the third leg for Ratajski to break. He missed them all. Mark Webster said it might have been the turning point in the match. Could this be another turning point for it to go back the other way? Yeah, no, so it will not. Louis Williams is on the brink of yet another Euro Tour victory against Christoph Ratajski. It's followed the exact same pattern of the day in the head to Daryl Gurney game. Daryl Gurney had his chance of break, didn't take it. Pushing from Louis Williams, why not? And then from there, it's followed the exact pattern. Louis Williams broke and then got out of control. And Matajski's in a position where he's got to find four legs in succession. Otherwise, he'll exit the international darts open at the last 32 stage. It's key here. Jose de Souza has also fallen for this. The seeded players don't get the prize money towards the European Championships. They've got to win a game. Yeah. You like that rule or not, that is the rule. And tough on the seeds, but I think you'd rather take that than chance yourself in the qualifiers. Down it. Well, look, I mean, we have seen in previous years when this rule was introduced, players who've been in the seeds for the majority of the year kept on losing their opening games. And as we've seen today, you know, there were players in the opening round. It was serious players, major champions. You know, Daryl Gurdy and Rob Cross and everybody playing in the first round. Dimitri Vandenberg, top ten players. And Alan Norris, I remember, kept on losing in the second round. I think he missed out of being at the European Championship one year because he didn't have enough on his order of merit to get there. But it is a controversial rule, yeah. and you can, as a seeded player, withdraw your seed and take your place in the playoffs, but you ain't going to do that. But, yeah, it's controversial, but it's too much. It has the pressure to the seed. They're playing a no play, they have already played a game. It just makes the second day fascinating in more ways than one. Sliding alongside that. No, he can't. So he will get more darts though, Christoph Latyski, with Lou Williams back on 202. I mean, look, there were some notable omissions from the European Championship last year. Johnny the Ferret Clayton was one of them because he was seed for both Euro Tours, didn't win either game, had zero pains in the Euro of Merit, and arguably the best player on the planet at the time who was not at the Euro. It was very condensed last year, though, wasn't it? Ten. Do you require 161? Johnny, Johnny that again this year. You never know, but... Maybe Williams was one of the gentlemen who profited from the short format. Trousered himself three grand, got himself in. Lost to the Souza in the opening round, but missed points. chances. Of he went on to the world, beat Toro Shibata in the opening round before losing to Gabriel Clemens, but solid first year for Louis. He's going to say, Christoph Latajski. Oh, a little gift of a leg for Christoph there. Not a very good one, but one where Williams did not get himself down to match darts. He will be expecting 95. to do so in this leg. Christoph Latajski coming close enough back. A real disappointing end to the year. A game with Nathan Rafferty at the Grand Slam he'd have been disappointed with. 59. The first hurdle of the World Championships as well to Len, Steve Lennon. Picked up a win at the Masters, but that semi final in Wigan. We're doing the world a good as whether he was listening to what he was saying about his throw down or not. It, if you're not winning games, it affects your confidence, and things like that can really come into your game. But you've got to dig deep here. He's been offered a little opening, he's not really taking it. 58. Yeah, been a strange old game, this one. The averages have gone all the way up to sort of very, very nearly 100. They're 60. both back down at 93 now. They've pretty much mirrored each other all the way through this match. It's been quite nip and tuck, despite the fact that Louis Williams did manage to, to go on a run of winning four legs on the spin. 
in this game. Ratajski has been there asking him, oh sorry, four out of five. 100. But he's been there asking him questions, posing him problems, and Lou Williams mostly has stood up to it and had the answer. Stumbling a bit here, though, Louis. This isn't a spectacular leg, but still. 90, sir. Still slightly in charge. That's it. When they've, when one's been good, the other's been good. When one's gone off the ball, the other one's joined him. So it's just been all the way through. Yeah, and they're, they're literally separated by one scrappy leg. Six and that scrappy leg. Ratajski's getting frustrated, and he knows he's missing a trick here. 12 darts thrown from Louis Williams on 203. Ratajski hasn't managed the pounds, but come back to what I was saying. They're just separated by one scrappy leg that. Louis Williams, it wasn't even the break, it was the hold in leg three. 76. Well. Louis Williams, he's got a shot for the match. Can Matajski get himself to a better one? 100. Similar round. Here you go, 127. Travel single ball. Louis, you're up first, Trump 19. Match start incoming. One hundred and two. This is a very quiet Similar shot. Need to trouble in the first two darts. Trouble eighteen. It'll have to be to save his skin. And the Polish eagle is still in this one. Back to back legs for Christoph Ratajski for the first time in the match. The bullseye Same finish saves his skin. Game on. Having survived a match dart. And hold a throw here. We are going the distance for the second time today. Good hit from Christoph Ratajski. Brazilian. Louis Williams missed a the trick there. That wasn't a great leg. Louis Williams carved himself out an opportunity. Ratajski gets the break back. Louis Williams still got that insurance policy of throwing first, but he'll feel the pressure a lot more than he did in that leg if he throws for the match in the decider. 90, sir. Six, well, he is going to have six this one, well, six four. 93, because Dug in deep, Christoph here. Right, if we are going five all here, I pose you a question as a darts player. Mm. Lou Williams will have the darts in the last leg decide. Would you rather be in his position having that advantage? Or would you rather be in Christoph's position, having come from 5 2 down and feel 100. that confident from having done the darts? In this standard of play, it's, just, it's massive. Yes, I know Christoph's rattled off his legs, but you know, we're talking about two top professionals, and you've got to have that dart. 28. You may not be going through the side. Louis you require yeah. 100. Especially if you get in there early down with the 140, it really ramps the pressure up on your opponent. Well, Louis Williams could end it right now. Needs to find treble 19. Cannot get it, and you can see this is pressure. You want the job done, simple answer. You don't want to decide in leg, but it's going there. If Ratajski pops double top, he missed three this earlier. He was nowhere near. And he's double 10. Is it his last start? It may well be. Louis Williams has had one match Louis down. The ball should get two here 60. to wrap up yet another victory over Christoph Ratajski on the European Tour stage. Tops and tens cost him earlier in the game. It may have cost him right at the death. Louis Williams will get another match dart. Double top for 6-4. Bang of the hands there for Louis Williams. And he's 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 
Well, he's throwing though, and he's already had three to be off that stage. I ask you again, Webby, would you rather be Christoph Ratajski or Louis Williams right now in this situation? I still say Louis Williams in terms of the advantage of throwing first. Look, the thought process is not going to be great, but let's see what he hits. Can you let me see what he hits? Let me answer. <laughs> Do you want to, should we wait to the end of this leg? And then, Louis Williams, then I'll ask you've you. got to have the darts, look at this. Yeah, I, I stand by my decision, you throw first. Oh, 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 he was angry, wasn't he? You could see the frustration, you could see him beating himself up, you could see he thought the game should have been wrapped up. And he has harnessed that and produced a 180 to kick off this last leg decider. Ratajski is now out of this, though, with a 140. It certainly isn't. Job isn't done yet, Louis. You could 60. be guilty of that, thinking you hit a 180 first three darts, the job's done. Ton 40 here, Ratajski's in charge. Ratajski. There it goes, this. Easy. Oh, what a time. Speak a bit of Polish, Christoph said. Oh, sugar. And that bar hit the floor there. <laughs> Louis, Louis. No treble after three. Oh, Big last one. Down to a finish after nine darts. Doing something right if you manage to do that. Christoph is going to have to get a couple of trebles to get to a finish here. And he's not going to get them. Louis Williams, six darts from 161. To hold his throw in a last Euro leg decider. And secure another Euro Tour victory against Christoph Ratajski. He doesn't want to visit without a treble here. He may go to 25. Still not great, though, is it? 65. Ratajski said earlier. Ratajski find a treble. You'd rather throw second, wouldn't you? You'd be Ratajski. <laughs> Finds a turn, this, this is tension. 96. The Prince of Wales and the Polish Eagle. Oh my, misses a big number, can he rescue it? He can, tops, it's another match door. He's missed the ball, he's missed tops, he's missed tens. One more chance, Louis. Wow. And that's all he needs! Louis Williams holds it together to win a last leg decider and book his place in the final day of the International Darts Open. Louis Williams did it wonderful. I mean, Louis, 5-2 up, and then it all went, went so wrong there. I know. I, I thought it was going to be a repeat of the last time I played Chris, to be honest with you. He, he went 3-0 up on me, and I came back with 1-6-3. I thought I was going to go ahead, and he was come back and beat me. But you know what? Thank God for double top. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was shaking like mad going for that. Honestly, it was crazy. But no, nah, that was a mad game. That was a really mad game. I mean, next round, you know, in the evening tonight, we've got Poland against Wales one more time with Krzysztof Kaczuk against Johnny Clayton. So that could be an all-Welsh battle tomorrow in the third round. Fencing that? I hope so, because I owe one on Johnny, to be honest. You've never beaten him before. He always hammers me every time I play him. So, yeah, I, I owe one on him. <laughs> well, Louis, we're looking forward to that. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Williams, stay in Runde 3. Thank you.